Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to Krendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen. Today, I'm talking about Flesh Eater Quartz, because I got to play my first Flesh Eater Quartz game uh, two days ago, I guess. It was a couple days ago, but uh, I, I honestly had a great time playing the new tome, the new units, and all that stuff. So, uh, first off, I got sent the new Flesh Eater Quartz box by Games Workshop early. Thank you to Games Workshop for funding my addiction. <laughs> it really just ends up being like I get stuff and then I end up buying more stuff. It's literally the like, you get a free sample and you buy more. You know, it, you get it. So I, I built all the Flesh Eater Quartz stuff. I ended up buying a start collecting. I built the the Terror Geist with the, the one goblin man up to probably the one right here. I think it literally is this one. The, uh, the ghoul, the ab, abhorrent ghoul. I can't even think of what he's called. Whatever. I built him. <laughs> Uh, and then I had 20 ghouls, uh, cause now I think it used to be, you can only have a unit of 10 ghouls and now it's a unit of 20 kind of like clan rats or, you know, are skinks also 20? I think skinks are still, or, uh, skinks are still 10, but, uh, I had that. I had the new night unit. I had, uh, six crypt horrors, uh, three crypt flares and, Oh man, what else did I have? I had a uh, a couple heroes. I think I had the two ab abhorrents, uh, the winged one, and the whatever. Listen, I'm a new flesh eater court person, so I have no idea. I, I I can't remember all these, but I never even planned to play flesh eater courts. But after seeing the new stuff and then obviously getting sent the box, I was like, well, I'm not gonna not build this, right? <laughs> so I was like, I think it's pretty cool, right? Um. A hair in my mouth, but <laughs> the, the big thing here was, I was like, I like that they're actually getting a bigger model range, right? So that was my big thing. It always felt like the old flesh ear courts didn't have that much and they still don't have that much in comparison to some other stuff, but now they at least are, dare I say, fleshed out a bit. Sorry. Um, and anyway, I played this game and I lost, but... <laughs> It was fun. I actually really enjoyed the book. So as somebody who I think I only played against Flesh Eater Quartz once and it was really annoying because they just kept fighting twice and then they just kept fighting twice. And it was annoying. <laughs> that was really it. And so I think they they realized that that's not fun to play against. It's fun when you're the one playing and you're like, I get to fight twice again. But uh, this new book feels much more balanced yet still fun. I think I think it's still a pretty strong book. Uh, I don't know if it's like broken per se, but uh, I think once more the new units come out, we'll actually get a better feel for it because, you know, some of their war scrolls and everything looks really good. But I mean, I, I thoroughly had a good time playing them, you know, and I'm somebody that has played 80% of the armies in Age of Sigmar because I have a problem. Um, and, you know, I've played night in terms of death armies. I play OBR and Night Haunt. I don't have Soul Blight. And I didn't have Flesh Eater. So I was like, all right, you know, let's try this out. And, you know, they're surprisingly durable. Uh, I was going against uh, Deepkin primarily, and it was a 2v2, so I don't say that. But I was going against Deepkin primarily, and they just kept shooting me. And I was actually surviving pretty well. The new Crypt Guard I like a lot, uh, especially because if they just attack something, then you shut off their commands. So you make it so they have to take Battle Shock instead of being able to auto pass, which is really nice, even if you get like one wound through. Um, that way, even if you get killed down to a certain point, it's like, oh, you battle shock. So it doesn't even matter. And then you just come back. Cause you're just like, Hey, I'm coming back. Uh, the hardest part for me was since it's my first game playing them, there's like so much to remember, which you would think I would be able to remember. Cause I play so many armies and I actually remember a lot of them pretty well. Like I picked up OBR and I was like, reciting all their, you know, specialized command abilities in my head. I was just like, okay, yeah, I remember that one. I remember plus one, your ward save. I remember if you get charged, you get plus one. I was like remembering all these things. I was like, how do I remember this? I don't know. Um, yet I'm bad at school. Well, I was bad at school, but uh, a lot of times you remember the things you care about. And tabletop wargaming is something that I actually do care about. So, uh, you know, playing that, uh, I forgot that. I forgot one of my most important things, which I, which I was running the terror geist, right? And I was like, oh, I'll do the spell so I can reroll hit rolls uh, 
because you want to spike sixes and then you do six mortal wounds flat, right? So you're like, oh, you just roll for sixes. I forgot that I could re-roll those hit rolls. <laughs> and I remembered it the turn after I fought something when I was stuck in combat with one guy. And I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I was like, I could have re-rolled. I could have even re-rolled my failed hits. I didn't even re-roll those. So I was like, oh, you gotta, you gotta learn. You gotta learn, man. <laughs> uh, and so... I, I still enjoyed playing it, but there was like, you know, knowing all the different spell lore, uh, knowing who, who's a wizard and what's a wizard. And then there's one where you can turn him into priest, like a sub faction. So I was like, I didn't do that one. But, you know, there's a lot of things to remember when you're playing a new army for the first time. And so uh, I, I think it was a good game to be like, hey, you know what? I, I, I've got somewhat of a grasp now on what I'm doing. So that's good, at least. But in terms of like fun. I thought this army is like a pretty fun army. I like the fact that you can keep summoning stuff back that died. You know, obviously you can only do it like once per unit, but it's still pretty strong, right? You just keep trying to build up these noble deed points, which I think is cool because I'm somebody that also loves uh, Nurgle. And Nurgle's kind of the opposite where you start stacking disease on other people. So I already have like a bunch of D8s. So I was just like, you know, here's a disease. Here's a disease. Let's keep that going, right? So noble deed points, essentially the same thing, but a beneficial thing on yourself. So I'm just like, oh, noble deed, noble deed, <laughs> right? So it gave me like Nurgle vibes in a way, which I thought was really cool. And I, I, I like that because it, there's something about building up a small stat that I enjoy. And I think some people don't like that. Um, and I think it depends on what it is. Like, for example, the momentum score on the the new orc guys doesn't feel as good, right? To me, you lose the momentum way too fast, uh, you know, or it's like if you if you don't spike your momentum right away, you don't really get the run in charge and then you kind of just get char. Uh, it does. does It feels like it needs a little tweaking. But I felt like the noble deed was actually pretty cool, like. Uh, you know, I got it up pretty quickly and then, you know, I summoned my knights that died back in and then they charge and then, you know, you get into combat and you just do a bunch of damage and then your guy's like, oh, back up to six, time to summon in more stuff, right? So I, I did really enjoy that. Or you just don't summon in anything and you actually get the attack buff to everything around you, which is cool too. So uh, I don't know. I just, I actually enjoyed uh, a lot of the uh, mechanics of Flesh Eater Quartz because you have deep strike ability, you have some shooting, uh, you have pretty good melee. You've got some survivability. It feels like they do everything pretty well. And they do some things very well. Their, their spell lore is pretty good. I think it used to be better from what I heard, but I still think it's pretty good. Their prayers are actually really good. Uh, the one you can go up to a five up ward, which anytime you can go up and ward saves, it's like, it's pretty good. You become a Nurgle at that point. Uh, and so, yeah, I don't know. They got good, uh, good front line with ghouls uh you know you can restore stuff it's just i think they they have a nice uh, they got a nice you know little little kit i think especially with the new units because you've got the knights who now provide more movement and charging and uh you know damage on the charge and just uh, knights are always nice in any army or cavalry i guess you could say because it adds that uh, that that mobility that's the word i was looking for you get that mobility and, you know, you can move farther, you can get the big charge. Because, right, I think Flesh Eater Court's biggest mobility is uh, the Zombie Dragon moves, like, 14, or the Terror Geist moves 14. Oh, actually, I guess the uh, the Crypt Flares, where the little wing guy, they go, like, 12 or whatever, and they can deep strike. So that's pretty nice. That I think that was the other thing that surprised me, was this army felt very mobile, and I didn't think they were going to feel mobile for some reason. Like, I think when I saw them, I felt very much like, oh, they're like Nurgle or something, right? But... They actually do feel pretty fast. <laughs> so the new knights, I really want the new, the big guy, the king. I can't, it's like Ushran. That's not his name. Ever. You know what I'm talking about, the king guy, because I think what you do is you can pick, kind of like when you play Tyranids, you can pick a thing before you play the game. Like, oh, I want plus one to wound, plus one to hit, whatever. So you, I think you take a board-wide plus one to run in charge as your, like, big one, and then he has a buff where he gives everybody within 30 a different one of those. You can essentially take two, so I think maybe on him you take, like, plus one to wound against monsters if you're fighting, like, a monster-heavy army, that's pretty good, or maybe you just take, like, plus one to hit, you know, something like that where you're getting that extra bonus, and then 
you just take the plus one to charge as your main one, because then anywhere you are, you're just getting plus one to charge. So it's pretty nice. There's a lot of like little buffs, whether it's like prayers and spells or whatever it might be that you could stack with those. Even the 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 one spell from the current GHB, like Horfrost, if you take that and you put like Rend on a lot of these guys, like they do some crazy damage. Like if you put them on the, uh, oh, not the Crypt Flares, the Crypt Whores, and they're like, what, four by three, no Rend, two damage. But if they hit a six, then they go up to three damage. And then there's something where they can go up to one Rend. But even then, if you, you know, give them plus one to hit, you're doing like, three by three minus let's say Horfrost is like a two on average minus two, three damage. And you run like, and it's four attacks each. Like you, you can do some pretty good damage with those. Um, so there, I think there's a lot of different ways to play, which is another cool thing about this book. I think it's actually a really good book. And so I made a, I made a video uh, a couple weeks ago talking about how this might be the last of the battle tomes, right? Uh, well, it is going to be the last of the third edition battle tomes, but how, how will that carry over into fourth edition, right? That was the main topic. And I think this is a good battle tome to show what they're going to be going for in fourth edition. Because like I mentioned, Soul Blight was the last of second edition and it had a lot of third edition stuff in it. And so I think they're pretty happy with where Sigmar is. They weren't happy with where 40K was, which is why they indexed everything and redid it all, right? But I think they're happy where Sigmar is. And I think they're going to do a lot of tweaks and maneuvers maybe even take a little 40k stuff mix it in from the new version and i think they're gonna make the new tomes how they are now so things like orcs and stormcast are probably gonna be right there on the forefront getting new tomes right uh skaven i would say is like the rumored box thing they also need a new tome especially and i think the big things you're gonna notice are monstrous actions like the custom monstrous actions because we've had that last like uh, this entire year of tomes actually has been a lot of like custom monstrous actions and custom heroic actions. I think those two things are here to stay and I'm actually happy with that. I like what they've done uh, with custom monstrous and heroic actions. And I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what they'll do with them going forward. If they're going to keep going the way they're going, some of them are bad. Some need tweaking, but it feels like it's in a much better place in 3rd edition than where it was in 2nd edition, where some armies felt crazy, some felt terrible, a lot of it was all over the place. You're like hitting on 4s and 5s, and people get a new book, and then they're like, I'm hitting on 3s, and you're like, I'm playing with my 4 and 5 book, right? Like, even if you don't have a new book, a lot of times it at least feels like you can still play against somebody and not feel like your book's going to be outdated compared to a new version. It feels like they've hit a good spot, so... I'm pretty happy with where the game is. Uh, I do. Th I would like a lot of GHB things to change, like better battle tactics and grand strategies. I think they can be designed a bit better, maybe terrain rules, but um, I think this book is a good uh, indicator of what we're going to have going forward. So I'm excited for it. And I like this new book. So that was my Crendor rant. I, it really is just me ranting about <laughs> Age of Sigmar again. I, just, I felt like I needed a good rant after playing... Flesh Eater Quartz, and I thought uh, everybody here would like to hear me rant about it. So let me know what you think down in the comments section below about Flesh Eater Quartz. Do you like the new ones? Do you dislike them? Whatever you got, let me know. And uh, I will see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya.